Many times a speech pathologist, dental hygienists, and dentists approach me or email me saying, what does your course offer me that I haven't already had? Is there, is there a reason I should take your course? I come from a different perspective than other trainers. Yes, I have been an oral facial myologist for many years. But during that time, I also was a speech pathologist running a clinic with a variety of type of patients. Physical therapy patients came to us, occupational therapy patients, uh, geriatric patients, pediatric patients, everything in between. So the program that I created and that I pass on to you when you enter the course is a lot more than... Uh, Okay, an orthodontist has sent me a patient who's 13 years old who has a slight open bite who used to suck his thumb. Yes, we do cover that, but I give you a perspective of many types of patients because you don't know who's going to end up in your chair, especially if you're a dental professional. You don't know who's going to end up in that chair that has different issues that you're going to have to deal with. Now for the dental professionals, what they've been telling me that they're gathering from my course that they don't get elsewhere is, what is a therapist? How do I become a therapist? So I try to teach them the difference, to show them the difference between what a teacher would do, what a dental hygienist would do, and what an oral facial myologist would do. So that with the dental people, I try as much as possible to bring out the true therapist in them. For the speech pathologists, on the other hand, they are sometimes so involved with each patient on such a personal level that they forget that they have parameters, that they have to consider certain areas of research, or that they have to perform certain measurements. We talk about that too. The important thing in bringing the two disciplines together in one group, and what I try to bring to them because of my background, is how to merge so that you have a full treatment program, you have a confident therapist when you're finished, come to the end of phase one, which is pre-treatment conditioning. So we've worked on your lips, getting them to do all the things that we expect to. We've maximized the ability of the buccinator muscles to work. We've done the many, many lingual or tongue exercises. Now before we can move on to the next section, which is swallowing and chewing mechanics, where you're going to really be using everything you've been working so hard on, we pull it all together with a coordination exercise called disc hold and disc elevator. We're going to do one, which is a little bit easier first, and then you're going to master the next one so that we can Now that you've had your phrenectomy completed, we're going to compare with the ROM your earlier measurement to today's. Oral facial myologists use measurements and this particular method to determine if someone is tongue-tied and how they're improving afterwards. This is a quick assessment. We have other types, the types that we've used on you before, but this is our quick one that we're going to do today. Okay. So I want you to do this two different ways. First, I want you to open your mouth as widely as you can, comfortably do so. All right. All right, so open widely and comfortably. There we go, and that's a 45, very nice. Now I want you to suction, we've been working a little bit on that, flat on the palate, and let's take that measurement. Okay, very good, and that was a 24. Now I'm going to mark that down. And then we're going to watch how the 24 gets closer and closer to that first number. All right? Now, when you first started out with the lip meter, you were under two pounds. It was about a, just a little bit more than a pound and a quarter. Very, very weak. Okay? Let's see if you've improved. I know you've been looking forward to this. So you go ahead and prepare the position. Let's see how you're doing. Okay, relax. Don't do it yet. Wait till I'm ready. Okay. All right, now as tight as you can. Ready? Hold it tight, 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 tight. Wow. That was not 
Good. Try again. Hold tight as you can. Excellent. Three and a half. Do you see the top? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the, you, you probably say, why didn't you count the first one? If it doesn't snap, if it doesn't click, then I know I just pulled wrong, you weren't ready, I didn't use the right words to prepare you. That's all. Let's so in brief, if you walk away from this course and you feel like I've thrown you into a universe of the unknown, and you say, my goodness, I just don't know everything that Sandra told me, I will be happy. Because that's really where I want you to be. I want you to know the limits of what you can do and to feel very creative within those limits so that you can grow.